What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Dude, I'm so excited. It's Kids Church this weekend. Yes, I'm yep. so excited. I love Kids Church. It's true. And we get to bring church right to you in your home, right where you're at. And today we have our pajamas on. No, we don't. Every week. Every week. Every week we forget. Every single week. Well, I hope you're in your pajamas. I hope you're in pajamas because next week we're going to be in pajamas. I, well, right? We'll see. We'll see. We'll Hopefully see. we will be. I don't <laughs> I don't know. Crazy. We keep forgetting. All right. Well, we will not forget how to start Kids Church, though, okay. which the best way to start a day is to pray. It's That's to what pray. it is. So let's yep. go ahead and pray. Bad eyes, close your eyes. Miss Korea, can you pray some today? Yes. All right. Lord God, thank you so much for allowing us to have church together, even when we're apart. Um, I pray that you would help us to learn about you today and to have fun, and we love you. Amen. 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 Well, today, guys, we're talking about something super important. Yes. So today we're talking about how God wants everyone to be a part of his family. Every single one of us. Every one of us? Every one of us. Every single one of us. He wants us to be a part of his family. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. You know, it reminds me of this verse in Acts okay. 10. It's like 30, 34 through 35. It says this, that God shows no favoritism. Like he doesn't have a favorite. Everyone, he just loves every single person. He shows no favoritism. In every nation, he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. Wow. Every single person, doesn't matter where they are, if they believe in Jesus and they do what is right and they fear God, then they can be a part of God's family. That's so awesome. Yeah. I love that every single one of us is God's favorite, right? Every single one of us, yeah. Yes. And he wants all of us to love mm -hmm. him. Well, right now, guys, we can show him that we love him with worship. So let's get into it, guys. Let's worship.
up, you guys? It is game time. Are you ready to play a game? Oh, yeah. I'm ready to play a game. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. I got it. Hi, Leonard. Hi. How's it going? I'm Leonard. It's good. Are you ready to play a game? Oh, yeah. I'm ready to play a game. All right. All right. Okay, so here's the game. Okay. It's called Never Have I Ever. Never Have I Ever. Ever. Yes, but a little bit of a twist. Oh, okay? Okay, oh, okay, okay. All right, so I need you guys to go grab a box of your favorite snack, okay? We have Cheez-Its. What? Cheez-Its? I love Cheez-Its. I know, they're one of your favorites. Yeah. That's why I grabbed it. Nice. So go grab a box of your favorite snack, okay? Quickly, go, go, go. Go, go, go get go. it. Go, grab those snacks. Come on, come on. I'm hungry. Me too. You hungry? I am very hungry. For Cheez-Its? For Cheez-Its. Nice. Okay. All right. Are you guys have your snack? Okay. We also grabbed a couple of bowls. You don't have to grab those. <laughs> I got mine. <laughs> um, but it'll 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 be helpful for us. So, okay. Never have I ever. All right. So All right. I'll start. And when I say something, Leonard, if yeah. you have done it. If you have done it. I have done it. You get one cheese it in your bowl. Oh yeah. Okay. That so good. if you okay. have okay. done it, you guys, if you have done it, you grab one of your pieces of your snack and put it in front of you or in the bowl or whatever. Okay. Sounds good. Whoever has the most by the time that we're done yeah. wins the game. Nice. Okay. Let's okay. Do it. And you get to eat all of your snack. That sounds so, good. All right. All right. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. The very first one. Never have I ever, oh man, it's hard. Okay. okay. Never have I ever been to Cowabunga Bay. What? You've never been to Cowabunga I've Bay? I've never been there. Oh, I've totally been there. You have? Okay. So what does that mean? What does that, that mean? That means you get a Cheez-It in your bowl. Oh. And I don't get one because I've never done it. Okay. okay. So 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 if them if one of those kids they did it they get a they get a snack. Yes, they get a cheese it in their or a snack in their bowl. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I go next? Yes. It's your All turn. right. Here we go. Never have I ever. Um. Um. All right. All right. Never have I ever jumped on a trampoline. <gasps> You've I've never. Wanted to. Leonard, you've never jumped on a trampoline? Nope. Oh my gosh, have you? Okay, if you have jumped on a trampoline, which I have, then you get one of your snacks. So right, I yeah, get to cheese yeah. it in my bowl. I'm gonna put my bowl over here, just be easier. Okay, so if you have jumped on a trampoline, grab one of your snacks and put it in front of you. I only have one still. Um, I have one too, that's okay. That's cool, all right. All right, are you ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, never have I ever been on a sports team. What? I know. Like I've never. Soccer? Yeah, like soccer. Or football? Or football. Or baseball? Or baseball. Or even, like, I don't know, volleyball? Or volleyball. Wow. I mean, I've played all of those things, but I've never been on a sports team. Wow. All right. Well, I definitely have. You have? I love my okay. Soccer team. Look okay. All the flashes. So Leonard has, so he gets a cheese it in his bowl. If you have, oh, grab one of your snacks, okay? That's two. I got two. I got one. All right, all right. My okay, turn, your turn. Area? Yes, your turn, Leonard. All right, all right. Never have I ever um, held my breath for more than 30 seconds for, underwater. Wow. Able to. Never have you ever held your breath for more than 30 seconds underwater, you said? That's right, yeah, I even tried yesterday Ooh. and I could only get to 29. You could only get to 29? Yup. Okay, oh. well I've done that before. It's hard, yeah. but I've done it, yes. So wow. have you done it? You're if you've cool. done it, grab one of your snacks and put it in your bowl. That's right. All right, okay. So it's my turn, are you guys ready? Oh yeah. This will be my very last one. Okay, never have I ever been to Disneyland. What? I know, what? I've, I've been to Disney World, but I've never been to Disneyland. How wow. many of you have been to Disneyland? Uh, I definitely have been to Disneyland, Miss Korea. I definitely have. 
Yeah. Like, okay. Three so times at least. three times at least. Yeah. Okay. Well, you only get one one cheese it, but oh, you've okay. done it. So you get I one cheese it. Okay. If you've done it, you get one of your snacks. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. I got a good one. I got a good one. Okay. Never have I ever mm, eaten cotton candy. <gasps> You've ever. never eaten cotton candy? No, my mom says it'll rot on your teeth. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, you can't eat it all the time, I guess. So, uh, have you eaten cotton candy? If you have, grab one of your snacks, put it in your bowl. Okay, I have. I've eaten lots of cotton candy. You're lots lying. Lots and lots of cotton candy. So. All right, all right, so now how, how do we know who wins? Okay, so you need to look at your bowl. Okay. Or in front of you and see how many you have. So okay. how many do you how many do you have, Leonard? One, two, three. I oh, have three. You have three? Yeah. I have three. What? How did I, that happen? I don't know. We That's tied. So cool. Okay, so how many do you have? If you have more than three, then you win. Okay. Well that's so so cool. And you get to eat your snack. Well everyone gets to eat their snack. So I guess really we all kind of win. Alright, we well, get our I'm snack. Eat my snack. Bye, Miss Karina. Okay. Alright, bye you guys. Guys, listen, God wants everyone to be a part of his family. And that was from the beginning. That's what God wanted. From all the way from the very first two people, God wanted to be a family with them, right? And God wanted them to be part of his family and he wanted them to love him and to worship him. But something happened. See, because the first two people, they ended up sinning. And when they had more and more kids and more and more kids, they, 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 there were all these you know, families all around the world and, and some of them worshiped God and some of them didn't. And so there were a lot of people in the world at that point. And, and like I said, more and more people began to be born. And again, God wanted the people to be his family. So he actually, what God did was he set aside a group of people and he made a promise to them. He said, you know what? If you worship me, then I will be your God and I'll be, you will be a part of my family. And the way that they um, described themselves were the Israelites. And the Israelites were God's family. And they were supposed to be the ones that prayed to God, worshiped God, and did not sin. In fact, they had a whole bunch of um, rules and regulations that they had to follow because um, if they had stepped out of those rules and regulations, then they would be sinning against God. And if they did sin against God, then they would have to atone for their sins or basically say, I'm so sorry, God, and, and kind of repent to God. And, and all, everyone else, they were known as the Gentiles. So there was the Israelites that had the promise with God, and the other people, they were the Gentiles. And the Gentiles didn't have that same promise with God. In fact, many Gentiles did not even believe in God. So the Israelites, they prayed to God. Gentiles prayed to other gods. Je uh, Israelites worshipped God. The Gentiles did not worship anything. The Israelites, they followed God and they knew that God was the real true God. The Gentiles, they did, did, made statues and, and did all these other things because they did not believe in God. And here's the thing though, guys. There was the Israelites and the Gentiles. And what Gentile means is basically not an Israelite, right? So everyone else in the world was a Gentile, and there was only the few select that were God's people, the Israelites. But here's what happened. This guy came. His name was Jesus. And when Jesus came to earth, he came for everyone. And when he died on the cross, when Jesus died on the cross, he died for our sins, for everyone's sins. And when he died... He didn't just save the Israelites, but he saved the Gentiles too. Now, the Israelites didn't realize that at first. In fact, there's a story in the Bible that talks about this man named Peter. And Peter, he was like, well, you know, we're going to tell all the Israelites that Jesus came and died for their sins. But then there was a moment where Peter switched and he understood that God didn't just die for the Israelites. That Jesus didn't die for the Israelites. He died for everyone, including the non-Jews, the Gentiles, meaning that God, Jesus, he died for everyone. So that everyone who believes in Jesus and follows God, it doesn't matter. You can be a part of God's family. No matter what nation you're from, that's what it is. So we're part of God's family and, and it, it's so cool because in Acts 10, it talks about that God does not play favorites. He doesn't have a favorite, he doesn't have favoritism. 
But the thing is that God, God, he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. He accepts those that fear him and do what is right. Because when we believe in Jesus, we are a part of God's family. That's right. You, if you believe in Jesus and you follow him, you're a part of God's family. And that's everyone. So listen, guys, we need to tell other people that they can be a part of God's family too. So I don't know who it is for you, but maybe it's a neighbor or a friend or maybe someone that you haven't seen in a little while on a Zoom call. Guys, tell them about what Jesus did for them dying on the cross and that they can be a part of God's family too. Wow, it is so cool that now we all get to be a part of God's family. That's right, it's so cool. Yeah, so I have a question for you, okay? Okay. What does it mean to be a part of God's family? Nice. Question number two, read Acts 10, 34, and 35. Does God want all people to be a part of his family? All right, question number three. So we know that everyone can become a part of God's family. That's right. So as long as they believe in Jesus and follow him, right? Yeah. Okay, so who is someone that you can invite to be a part of God's family? Good question. Whoa! Well, you know what, Miss Korea? I have someone that I want to go tell about Jesus. I do too, actually. All, All right. right, so I'll see you later, Leonard. Bye! Okay, All right, bye. Whoa! I dude. had so much fun, Mr. David. It was so awesome today. It was so good. Amazing, dude. And we learned so much about Jesus and God's family today. We did. Yeah. You know, we learned that um, God wants everyone to be a part of his family. So every single person? Every single person. Wow. Okay, so wait. We live in the United States, the USA. Yes, right here. And he wants us to be a part of his family. Yes. Okay. And that makes sense. And he also wants people here to be a part of his here? family. Here? Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what about uh, what about what about here? Yeah. People uh, Yeah. In yes. Canada? Okay. Absolutely. And people here. Uh, what about people here? Yes. Okay. What about people here? Yes. Okay. Um, here. There. What about people behind you? Like this one Ooh, right here. We can't even see over it. Here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What about what about this little tiny one right here? It's a little tiny one. Hungry. H hungry. Yes. Yes. Like all, so like here, 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 here. Every here, single here, country. Here, 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 here. Every single nation, every, every single country. Every single nation. He wants every single person to be a part of his wow. family. Wow. You know, it, it, it reminds me again of our Bible verse, Acts 10, that says, God shows no favoritism. You know, uh, every single one of the pe uh, people on the world is his favorite. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus came and died for us, so that all of us could be a part of his promise, his new covenant that said, you know, uh, if we believe in Jesus, we can be in his family and go to heaven yeah. with him for forever, guys, for forever. And he doesn't care whether you're a part of that country, part of this country, part of this country, or who you are, or who you even hang out with. Guys, he loves you mm -hmm. and he loves us. He loves every single person and he wants us to be a part of his family. 
So, so cool. So cool. You know, I love how God includes all of us. It's so cool. Yeah, all of us. I, I think right now, I just want to pray for our world and our, our country. And, and just because sometimes, like, you know, we, we feel like we are not a part of, you know, God's family. And, and literally everyone can be. Yeah. So let's pray right now that we that we are part of God's family and just pray for, for, for our country and our world. Let's pray. All right, let's do it. Jesus, we thank you so much for just dying on the cross for us that we are able to be in your family and that you gave us your promise that if we believe in you, we can be a part of your family and go to heaven and be with you for forever. And Lord, we pray right now for all the people in the world that if they don't know you, Jesus, if they're not a part of your family, that they have the opportunity to become a part of your family and to believe in you. And we just pray for peace and we pray for your hand of healing in our world as well. We love you, Jesus. We thank you. Be with us, God. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, guys, we'll see you next weekend in our pajamas. Well, what? Actually. What? We're going to see them on Wednesday. On Wednesday? Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday nights. That's right, guys. Don't miss it. Wednesday night, we're picking it off with some new people. They're going to be hanging out with us. Some guests, I would say. Right? Okay. And a uh, brand new series. It's going to be Ooh. amazing. All right. Amazing. Are you guys ready? Because I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? I was born You ready? ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it, guys. This Wednesday, right. check it out. See you guys later. Have a good weekend. See you later.